up, boys? Who do you be this now? Alexi. Alexi. Buffalo. Buffalo. You're a boy from Buffalo. I'm a boy Buffalo. I'm a boy Buffalonian. Are you inviting in alcohol beverages tonight? I don't do that. You know. I smoke some. I, I take some of that THC BD's nuts though. What kind of weed do you have there? Dirt weed? No, oh, fuck no. Are you serious? What in New York, man? <laughs> what a bit like we're a big ass super state, dude. Yeah, but you get from the hey, 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 no. Come on. No, no. Hey, I know, right? If, if we want to talk, we don't use type R's. I tell you, if, if, I, if, I, if you want to talk with me, we can't be dropping type R and bombs. It's just not. It's for me, for me. I'm not, it's, not about, it's, not, it's not about the black people, dude. It's about me. Who cares about Well, then I have to go. You don't want to talk with me? If you, got, if you want to choose type R and bombs over me, I mean, that's fine. I'm white as fuck. So you expect us to give up a you know a normal verbiage that's used in virtually every Skype room you go in, and yet for some reason us you're threatening with it, you know. No, I'm really here. I'm saying if you guys only want only when I'm here, if you could. Room you go in, use the word. No, but I don't. I don't hear. I really have not you heard. It. I haven't heard it in days. And when I do hear it, I just ask like, is it possible to not like? It's just the word. What, what about it upset you? Can I ask? What upset you about it? I I dislike it. and I think it's associated with hateful shit. Even if you're not saying. Why can't we just not? So why can't we not break people up in the little schools? Yeah, that's funny. That's fine. Fine. Let me know when we're done with the, uh, debating. Wait, what happens, though? Like, what if we put you on a debate stage with a black guy, and, and he's a fucking brilliant black guy, and he wrecks you? Many times, many times, although there have been shirts on Discord. No, I'm, I'm saying, what if, they, what if that happens and you get wrecked? What happens if some of the darkies are, are better than you? Then what? Aren't you fucked? They can't be better than I am because they're not genetically better than I am. I don't care how smart they are. They don't have, you know... What do you mean, better? Better. Intellectually, intellectually and... Just logically, sociologically, more civilized. Right. I mean, civilized isn't necessarily better. Like, like civilization is really like an organization scheme. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm saying it doesn't make you better. It might make you better at doing some things. It might make you better at building factories, or if you're from the northern forest. Yeah, like, like, uh, like creating societies makes us a little better at that. Doesn't it? Yeah, but show me one of these societies that's not corrupt. It doesn't fuck people. Show me one. Well, there's things called the lesser of two evils. Would you rather live in a corrupt America or a corrupt Zimbabwe? I well, uh, probably. Uh, Take your choice, boy. But we have to also think about non-corrupt states. Like, well, they, they, they don't fucking exist yet. So what are you, the white knight? Who cares, man? I'm a, I'm a white knight. Are you, in it? Are, you, are you still ideological after all this time? You're not 20 years old anymore. I'm, I'm a white knight, not a white knight. I mean, you're just one of those freaky old flower children. I mean, where are you, man? No, my parents are like low-level capitalists. You're some cuckold soy boy who can't use the word nigger without, you know, getting, you know... I mean, I could. I don't. I don't see what possible benefit would come to me or I anyone. I don't see how you could possibly feign being so, you know, righteous, righteous about it. I'm just like, I don't, I don't like it, and I think if people hear it, that like black people hear it, it's gonna fucking bother them, like because they think like it might trigger associations with horrible shit, like in their in their minds, like, and, and you might like kind of hurt them. I'm not out to hurt anybody. Fuck it. Like, if you want to fight me, like on camera, that's one thing. But in real life, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Or like, I'm, there's no need in saying shit that makes somebody feel like shit. Like, do they don't have any control over? Even no, if you're it's right. Not like, it's not like I, you know, I run around the internet or run around in real life for that matter, calling black and white. Don't I differentiate? Yeah, black people. Is the way monkey that monkey does. So there are white ends. You can use the word African because that's pretty much what they consider themselves African. Are there white type R N bombs? But there's no white Africans. Are there white ends? Sure there are. So you, couldn't you pick a better word then, though? Uh, just by virtue of our number, there's more white ends than there are black ends. Right? We're called monkeys, and we're called crackers, and pecker woods, and white devils, and... Well, well, I, know, I, know the, I know the ultimate form. So, what about, we used to talk on Skype. We used to talk to the Nation of Islam all the time. Okay, we know these guys. Right? You don't. Yeah, what, what, if you're, what if you're a little wrong? We spend, we, spend, we spend probably hundreds of hours talking to the Nation of Islam. Guys. Okay, Islam is a, a religion uh, that's obviously not... It's not based it's, in... It's, it's, it's a whole different... This is the Philadelphia version of Islam. Whatever, still, so it's connected to a religious belief. It's an absolute... It that's, where, that's where it started, and that's what it is. It's a Philadelphia version of Islam. Everything that pretends to know God is a fucking epic fallacy, instantaneously. If you know God, you better be a lot better than me. A lot better than me, because I don't know that God. Goes without, that goes without saying. <laughs> that goes without saying. Too. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, Yang. Yang. I'm just again, Yang. I'm just, I'm just saying, Yang. I'm just saying, Yang. Yeah. That's... Who, you vote, uh, who on the Democratic side you gonna vote for so far? Uh, I just because it's fun, I say Harris, Harris Buttigieg. Harris Buttigieg. Yeah. Well, okay, I'll tell you, I was gonna run, right? I'm still running technically. There's 670 of us, right? I mean, it's not like you couldn't have a candidate that spent all of 2019 working on Discord, right? Talking with everybody all over the country and figuring out the platform to debut on January 1st, 2020. Like a light horse, right? Like a light horse candidate. Almost like a, almost like a movie script, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A movie script for your own presidency. It's not going to ever happen in a thousand years, but that's just kind of like the viewing of, you know, a screen now. But look, what if you did it? What if you made a movie about the president, right? The next president, and it was actually the guy, and people enjoyed it so much that he became so recognized, and they believed something somehow that it was him, and they elected him. Wouldn't that be the only way to sneak in completely, like some kind of fame event? No. Well, it's without money, without money, what else could you do? What, what if you dissect yourself first? You? I will release all 32 of them. Yeah, I can tell you everything. I went my bed a few times. <laughs> you, yeah, he who has a dry bed should like, piss on somebody else first. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, the president thing? Um, so you're gonna, so you, now you vote for Pocahontas and the Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so here's the deal. If I run, though, my vice president is, is a Humanitarian candidate, right? Because if you run and you're revolutionary enough, they will. Someone someone will fucking try to kill you and they'll probably get you. So in my case, I have like a super pence, right? Like, so you're a political, right? You don't vote, you're not going to vote for well, I told you, I let my daughter vote in the last uh, election, and she chose Hillary. 
I say the greater of two evils, evils, meaning even though she's a shitty person, she's still a greater person than Don. <laughs> still better than Don. I, I took my daughter into the booth and I said, pick whatever you want. And it's New York State. It only contributes to the popular vote, which means absolutely nothing except for... You didn't acknowledge the fact that that was her constitutional right to make the decision as to whether to vote or not. It's my constitutional right to listen to anybody I want to and cast that vote as I choose. Yeah, I'm not. Like it's, It was my vote and I definitely wasn't going to fucking use it when, when I didn't like either one of them at all. I didn't want either one of them to be president. Yeah, my point is, he said... I let my daughter vote. Why would it be up to you as to whether she votes or she doesn't because vote? Because she, she, she was six. So the only way she could vote is if I gave up my vote to her. No. It doesn't mean anything and she enjoyed it. What's the problem? So she was six years old and you let her vote. Okay. In New York State, um, and she voted for Hillary, who obviously took New York State, even though in New York State she was an interloper and Donald was the fucking resident, she still fucking crushed him in his home state where everybody fucking despises him. Is it just me or is this going to be crazy? I'm, I'm way more than a bit crazy. Dude, I'm the only inventor you know of any consequence. The only one. Guaranteed. Nope. 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 Oh, yeah, you <laughs> that is that is a new joke. That's a new joke. Good job. <laughs> Never heard of gears before. You got the gears turning in there, buddy? You got the, the Richard <laughs> gears turning inside your brain? Somebody's thinking about gerbils again. <laughs> Enough of this gerb bullshit, okay? Enough of your gerbil shit, dude. Why would I invent shit? Like, you can just produce it right out of your mouth right now. I don't need to invent shit. I said I said of any consequence. Most patents go absolutely fucking nowhere. <laughs> Calm, just calm down. Just everybody calm down. I would suggest that if you actually write and obtain a US patent, you should have a Okay, but I, like, for myself, I actually hold up funny ears because I literally only built a few very, very simple things in order to technically be an inventor, but most everything that I've done that, that makes me call myself an inventor in a really legitimate sense um, has not actually been uh, prototyped. Most of it is not down to earth yet. I forgot. I forgot. What are you, what are you doing here? I forgot. I, I just work with the aid of a patron. To, well, okay, up until two months ago, I just mined ideas. That's it. I just found ideas. That's it. Your ideas, man. Otherwise, I'm a bullshit artist. Better than a Bible shit artist. Uh, bullshit artist. How do you know what you want to do? I don't get it. How do you make money on mining ideas? We have a discussion. My family has a little bit of money because my grandfather walked out of the eighth grade and was mining. Kind of, are you a venture capitalist? I am a choose your own adventure capitalist, essentially. No, like you guys have probably, you've probably never said or typed the phrase the wisdom of the crowd sorcerers, but it will definitely be in your brains for the rest of your fucking life. There's, it, it will not go away. It's not because all the wonderful things it does. I, I work hard every day. What do you say? What do you work hard at? What do you produce? Well, what I will produce is a fuck like finished version. I produce pages, and when I'm done, I will sell my whole company to millions of fucking parents whose kids say, "You're gonna buy this for me." I mean, no. I'm not saying like I, if I say, if I tell you that this is absolutely guaranteed to happen in perfect accordance with every word that comes out of my fucking word hole, yeah, then I guess I would be probably delusional if I had absolute certainty. Now, would your word hole be analogous with your rectum? No, that, no, that's that's it's, it's some golden rule shit by you. I think no, that's not the case with me. Maybe you should sit, sit on the mirror again or something. Jesus. Um, yeah, it's always fun to occasionally stop here. And you guys are pretty nice, actually. At least you guys are like friends who, who I, like, I get to be big friends, but you'd have some like philosophical hate for me or something. I'm about to, to embark upon a bowl of uh, frosted flakes, actually. I haven't been to the grocery store. I've been working so much, I have not been to the grocery store in two months, and I just shop at 7 Eleven on my way home, and I just buy whatever the fuck I want right now. You really, you really should come back more often because you are a so hard. I am hilarious, and in the long term, every syllable of laughter. Not that... hilarious, not, not hilarious, not. But it's sort of, it's sort of just sort of wake you out. Oh, it doesn't. It real. Doesn't matter if you like if you laugh at me or with me. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's like and you laugh. Trust me. No, I'm not laughing. I'm just... I didn't say you are laughing. I said you do because I've, I've heard you all. And I live my life, so I you know I have a general idea how often people laugh when I talk. Just remember that being like a I got you, Ariel. Please don't let us interrupt your bowl of cereal. Obviously, has covered up a whole lot of food groups. As long as I stop talking, you won't interrupt. I can listen. I have multiple holes in my head, right? Yeah, four holes, I can imagine. The pressure in the brain. Yeah, you guys are you guys like a bunch of type A-holes. A country's ahead of every other fucking country. I'm not like we're doing so well compared to humanity. It's unbelievable. I'm not worried about the richest country in the world. I hear patriotism in your voice, man. I hear I hear patriotism in yours. You can't, you can't do that. You can't get me. Guys, I'm still here. He can hear you. I'm still here. Can you talk to me, please, guys? Talk to me for a second. 
What if I told you? What if I told you I bet against them every single time? No, 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 no. Because listen, if they, I put a thousand dollars on each Super Bowl because if they you're won this, you're a user, man. You're a user. If this, no. Using people, using the country, you're just a user. Listen, they, I, had, I have extra money, right? So they, every time I said if they win the Super Bowl, I'm so happy that I don't care if I lose a thousand dollars, right? I don't care if they won the Super Bowl, and if they lose, I get an extra thousand dollars. Congratulations. You've never seen a thousand dollars. You're still kind of a loser by default. I don't tell him that what he's called by the wanting house opinion today. Anyway. You sound, I guess, I'm a little bit self righteous. I'm going to just stay over here and be a little bit self leftist, is it? Self leftist. I don't want to think straight. I have a fucking human brain. I can go any place. Vote for a mind for no hags. I don't need a brain, man. That's irrational. It's not American. Trump is a retard. Yeah, I'm saying he's gone. It's just not American. That's what I'm saying. It's not like He's living in the country, but he's not American. What, and what exactly makes, again, what makes you part of this country? You came out of a vagina within a particular geographical location. That's it. That's it. You fell out of your mom inside of the borders of the United States of America. That's it. And very luckily. Good. Well, not that guy. Like you live in a great country. He sounds like somebody who says, make Britain great again. Make Great Britain again. The fact that it was here that it existed, so I could be born is what you're fighting for. But see, I just don't get that, man. I mean, Being American means nothing. Damn it, man. You're like a, you're like a 15 year old man. That's really strange. How old are you, 35? America's a gang, dude. I mean, it's the best gang, but it's just a gang. How old are you, 38, 37? 46. 46. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. You know, I'd have taken it for maybe 30, maybe a dumb 30 year old best. But who's, who's the guy who sounds like. That's what you sound like. Who's the guy who sounds like he's 80? We're all, we're all over 50. You know that, right? Well, that's 30 years away from what I said. You didn't, you didn't guess what you're Point, man. There's, there's 45 year olds and there's 45 year olds. I don't know what it is, but your upbringing was. I suspect you haven't been many places. No, wait, so know, what I, happens? You seem kind of green and kind of just. Not Hold on, yeah. what, what happens if uh, if uh, like, uh, the best leftist were to walk into your room? Would you guys automatically crush him because he's a leftist? Probably. Not gonna, that's not reasonable. You sound like a 10 day old cupcake. We're not here to necessarily be reasonable, man. We're if you have the guy who says I sound like a 10 day old cupcake, is that same guy that's asking me if I'm delusional? Wait, you, know, yeah. you sound like you ate a 10 day old cupcake. Is that what you said? You said I sound like a 10 day old cupcake. You sound like you ate one and it was fucked up. Really? Well, like, how did you come to that conclusion? It was not a psycho delicacy, I take it. Because I would like to make you a dingleberry jam sandwich on toast. So you can jam it up your dingle eyes. Dingle bells, dingle bells, dingle all the way. <laughs> <laughs> See? Funny. Uh, well, I don't think I've ever heard that. I'm sure there's many songs, but I have nobody ever sung me dingle bells. I don't know if there's any hope for this one. I'd like to think there was a bit of I don't think so. Listen, I'm going to open source a huge... Yeah, it's like 40s, man. He's I'm going to open source a fucking huge... 40s, you get to that age, you're supposed to be smart. Right? Huge, yeah. huge, a huge, Funny. huge... That's 40s, man. Mid-40s even, all right? He's supposed to be... Yeah. Yeah. I put everything that I had into something that I believe in incredibly man, deeply. File broad. File broad. Whatever it was, you're listening to me, you made a mistake, man. You're just going to be homeless by the age of 55. Thank you for saying that. I was the take one to yeah, no one to go. Wandering around in parks. You don't sound sharp enough to make sure that's what I'm sharp as fuck. I'm like a laser. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I know you don't know, but that's on you. I just don't know what I'm hearing. I just can't. It's not, it's not on me that you. Hey, it's not on me. You, know, that, I don't you could be sharp for Buffalo. I know you might be the best of a bad one. I don't know. It's not on me that you do not see. Right? We talked to another guy from Rochester and he's from. Yeah. He's kind of delusional too. Not not Florida, not Florida, not Florida. Well you're not you're again you're not quite left. We already agree on that, right? I'm not man. I'm completely one hundred percent Trump and only Trump. What the what? Because I'm, I'm pro America. It's not about Trump anymore. Forget Trump. It's not about Trump. Pro, I mean, you're pro American. That's why un American idiots like you don't understand. It's not Trump. There is no single you're vision. America or you don't. I mean, you don't the country. I look at the country and I see the declaration creating a separation, and I see a constitution with zero founding mothers, and I think it's illegitimate. It's great for what it's done. It's far from the final form, and it's corrupted as fuck, and we can't stop it. If you like, I'm not saying Kevin is not a bad dude. I don't even know if he raped somebody, but like, I still like that is not. The, you should have great people, on, and that is not a fucking great dude. Like, that is not a temper, like, a properly temperamental man. Like, we get shit like that. They took away Obama's fucking. They literally took, took away a fucking justice by just playing scum games of corruption. And they say the Democrats do what they do. I don't think they do it as bad, and they stole a fucking justice. To me, that basically illegitimizes the court itself. We need to find a better way before it's too late. This is not, guys. You must know this is not truly a legitimate fucking country. There's so much corruption. So much corruption. You know that. Mad fucking corruption. Next up, and then of course Clarence Thomas, uh, he'll step down during Trump's second term, and Trump will put another, you know, forty year old. And what happens when he put, if, if two more people get replaced? Guess what? The court becomes so Im imbalanced that the, the, the impetus may become. No one's now. Is there, okay, I don't know if I want to ask. Is there anything about the president you don't like at all? No. no. Come on. No, not zero. No, I'm yeah. He's a fat, pompous, like uh, non-eloquent, lying product of a four hundred million dollar fortune plus an average man. You gotta understand. You don't look at the small. You're looking at the small picture. You don't look at the big picture. What has he actually achieved? He has achieved an increase in personal wealth for people such as himself, including someone like you. So, so, and, so, and, so, and all you've got to say, oh, look, he came up with a woman by the ass. How does that affect his? I didn't even mention that yet. I didn't mention it at all. You will, though, 
Also, he took he took money from some of us. He took money from the ones of us who are less fortunate and gave it to people who are more fortunate. He took more Americans to pay a smaller number of Americans, of Americans, money just in that one tax cut, just in that one tax cut. That's CNN bullshit there. That's not true. It's absolutely wrong. The people who are benefiting most of those tax cuts are lower than middle class. I, I don't think so. Maybe right now, but like the way it worked out, I'd say that mad more money was saved by the fucking rich. You don't know, you don't know enough to debate here, boy. Uh, Ron, I don't, just cause you have a, you can have any weird, obscure sources you want. Anyone can find a fucking... How many, okay, how many geniuses in this room then, right now? Minimum, what's the minimum number? Well, we don't count your genius, so the number's three. Three yeah. geniuses in one room called Skype Assholes. Amazing, isn't it? It's crazy, yeah. it's like totally unbelievable. How many, how many rooms do you know on Discord that everybody's over 50? Um, no, you're probably the oldest fucks I've ever met, collectively. There you go. Yeah. I mean, old is not a good thing. I understand when you get old, you have to start to change your brain and shit to deal with the about to die stuff, but, but old is not good. That's what I'm trying to say. You have to, okay? I what? I've gotten any wiser. I'm wise as fuck, dude. I am wise. Like, you know that joke? Man, you know that's a boss reservoir. I'm not weird. It's not, there's no gibberish. I'm just confident. I'm just confident and I'm not the idiot you're used to. I am the strongest person. I am the strongest person on my side of the aisle that you will probably ever fucking get in your room. And you don't like, but being on the other side of the aisle doesn't mean I'm a fucking Democrat. It doesn't mean I want to waste time. I do think that Trump is a fucking ultra, ultra shitty human. I believe that hindsight will say because of him being elected, uh, the, the glass floor in American politics was finally shattered. The barn door was blown off. If I want to run, I told you the only way it would ever have been theoretically possible was if Trump won first. The only way was to have a fucking piece of shit like they want real, right? He's a real fraud, right? I'm a real, real person. Trump is a real, a genuine fraud. He even believes it. He's, he's, he's squeezed every fucking possible dollar he could out of the American tax coffers, pushing it beyond the point of illegality, knowing that he was shielded. That's not American to take extra millions and millions and millions for what? To build another spec hotel piece of shit? He built, what, two good places in his life? You, I mean, you can certainly say that amongst your friends. I don't watch Rachel Maddow, stop! Yeah, well, she obtained, they obtained his 2009 tax return, you saw it. He made 256 million. He paid 51 million taxes and gave 25 million to charity. Some of the charities, sometimes, that was, that was sometimes the charity was his own charity, too, that's funny. You have no idea. You have no idea where you I get myself. You get it? You don't I, get it. Where you get it? I do not generally. I listen to the president speak. Um, that's most that's of. That's, that's what a fucking seven-year-old kid does, right? Well, I'm gonna listen to Maddow or, or Tucker Carlson. Scared, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna listen to pundits. I'm gonna listen to other pundits. Tell me what to say. Really. Your childish, uh, you guys want to come on my show in the, in the near term future? What show? Do you want to call my show in the near term future? Let's call it democracy with a Z. Oh, where is the show being? Call it, can, call it conservative tardigrade grade school. How about that? Where is this on? No, it's not. It's not tele. It's not TV. It's not HBO. It's television. Well, listen, if any of you guys have a story to tell me, do that. Tell me a story. If we, if we agree to do that, we, we'd want something to say. Oh, I think that having having you four in the room, right? Having you five come out of set in the future, Stacey can be muted because that's just what's happening now, and she just has to sit there and she can like take notes and display them like Trump, but she can't say anything. Um, yeah, I think it'd be awesome to have you guys. I think seeing me on stage with you guys would be just the funniest shit ever. Like, I'm sure we'd be friends. Like, I, I would probably try to destroy like what I think are your preconceptions, but I'm sure we would also be friends. And at the end, we would either have a beer or smoke a joint and hug and laugh a lot, and and then you would try to convince me not to. You try to convince me to rip up the contract where you were offered a certain amount of dollars to fucking. <laughs> The point we engage in that combat with the arms. Right. But you don't engage, or you do engage. You're over it. We don't. We don't engage in that combat with the arms. Right. With the what? The armless? I can't hear that. Well, I, I have to spell this out for this whole You got that weird accent, like like you, you like, like from the island, whatever. Sorry. Man, if you're twice as stupid, you'd still be stupid. I mean, you know, we've been looking for older people on Discord, you know, because it's hard to really it's hard to identify with these twenty year olds. I mean, try as best, you know, we try, but it's just almost impossible. With ninety percent of them anyway. But we, and we were hoping you know to get some forty five year olds in here, but now we got one, and it's like, dude, you're not forty five. You got a month of twenty year olds. Okay, so and. I, I have a refined 20. I have, I have my brain operates as well as it did when it was 20, but I've refined it for the last fucking 26 years. I'd rather have a fucking tw like a 20 year old Ferrari than a 40 year old Ferrari. If you do a good job here, we're gonna chip in by you a brand new gerbil for Christmas. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 listen, just like you do, and I probably I probably breed a bunch of gerbils so I can have a fresh one every night. Every night, every night. Yep, you can go with Monday. Then you. At least I don't fucking eat them afterwards. You fuck. Fucking <laughs> 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 barbecued <laughs> shit rat. <laughs> I am a, I, listen, I had a, I'm a good person. My mom made me into a good person, right? Fact. Now, she, didn't tell, she didn't tell me I was. No, he, he just worked hard at work and let her do most of that shit at home. No, come on. Stroke, stroke you. Why don't you go stroke yourself? Why don't you go stroke yourself? I don't get it. You should, man. You should. Are you guys all, are you guys ever? I'm talking to you I'm new American now. You really should. For whatever reason you hate them, all right? Who, Americans? I'm They're just people. I'm not going to argue with you about the reasons that you're not like, you know, whatever. But for the country itself, man, you should vote for Trump. If you care about your daughter's future, you should vote yes. Yes. Are you going to connect your daughter? How about the general working gun? And how many hundreds of thousands of other New Yorkers are you going to convince to do that? Or do you just want Donald to lose the popular no, vote by less? That's coming from people. That's right, you know, won't you even take me to heart, man? Do you think I'm absolutely worthless? No, you said no. I've been told that I'm a fucking seven-year-old well, child. I mean, just consider my advice as we go on. Okay. He did. He did. He doesn't. Yeah, just... Watch Elizabeth Warren and all these other people really carefully, all right? All right? And see the fucking ruling class, non-middle class society. They're going to build for your daughter. Right? Then ask yourself if you want your daughter growing up. Because she's not going to be in the ruling class. I don't, oh, what? Who the fuck are you? Who do you, you know me? My daughter's not in the ruling class. You got you fucking stupid talker. Jesus Christ, motherfucker. What? You don't know my daughter? You don't know me. You gotta calm down, Batman. I said, be calm, Batman, or you will meet combat man. 
Oh, did you say that? No, no, you, no, no they heard it. They heard it because I didn't write it. If shit writes, stop making small mistakes. Wow. Speak correctly. You know not what you say. Learn how to speak. Learn how to speak English, okay? Well, you're a little uh, schnip with it, man. Schnip with it. I feel like I should pick you up by the ear and bring you out. You know, Falcon, I will, Falcon, I will sign. To, I will sign a contract to box all three of you right now. I, in, uh, oh. <laughs> no, dude, I want you to knock me out, dude, Mr. Britain. I like. I want to be knocked out. I would love for a right winger, an old right wing, an old white dude to knock me out and say and say and drop n bombs, knock me out and keep punching me and kicking me in the balls and call me a nigger. Really? Well, now is there now is there a personal reason you don't think your daughter's half whack, right? Uh, my daughter is, as you would say, a, a brown child. She's not. You can't really tell. You guys wouldn't even probably know. You think she was like well, a. Whatever, you, I'm sure she's very pretty, but she's. Well, not pretty. She's very light. Like she, she, you think she was a northern Italian? You think she was white? Probably. And her mother was white. Her mother's Arabian. Arabian. A, a, Arabian maniac. Yeah, she's Arabian. Oh, Arabian. Ah. and she's not. She calls herself a Muslim, but she doesn't practice, and she definitely doesn't even go to the games. Muslim? Well, um, she comes from Muslims, and that's one of several totally fucked up religions that pretend to know God and try to indoctrinate people into believing that the only way. That's right. that... So why does she have to say she doesn't believe in Muslims because oh, don't have to send people that believe it. I mean, she's a, she's that's a super true. she's a super super hot Yemeni woman who since nine and, and like who since nine eleven has been uh, very nervous or something. And she's sick now. She's six. Six. Your daughter's sick. Your daughter's sick. Oh, no, 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 that's what that's when no no that, she was six when she voted for or six or seven when she voted for Hillary. How does a six or seven year old just clarify this? How does a six or seven year old fight for somebody? You walk into the fucking voting booth, 190 he's feet from my. You walk. Yeah, can I finish? You walk. No, no. You walk in. You go into a private booth with your daughter and you say vote and she votes. That's it. What the fuck can she do? She, she like she's smart. It's very easy to vote. It's like dumb as fuck. You just it takes nothing. She's not a legal age. That's it. What are you doing? Assume you think the liberals are gonna put me in jail for for voter fraud? Mine was actually probably. Provide some level of education politically. This was the only I talked to my, my children, and also my children can debate years tomorrow if you want. She had more than one child. Oh my god, two brown babies! Oh shit. Children are allowed in here. Period. Who's not? Children are not allowed in here. Period. We don't allow children in here. I'm a child. What are you gonna do? Humongous. You're not a child. I'm mostly a child. Yeah, I've never I've never had to do anything like adult in my life. Explain. Well, how, how old are you anyway? Oh wait, hang on. Hang on. I got the lady jumping. Okay. <laughs> I was conceived on the fourth of July in 1972. What's wrong? What's wrong with me saying what I said? Okay, maybe I'm the leaning tower of Pisa, right? And you're the leaning towers of Pisa shit. <laughs> they're, just, they're just weird up there, man. They think they, that's Maine, that's upstate New York. Yeah, we didn't need slaves. New Hampshire, Vermont. I mean, they were from Sanders in Vermont. Oh, really? Uh, that's how they are. I mean, this guy's crazy. But by the time you get to his area, you know, it turns red, all right? But there's still patches of that East Coast freakery mixed in with me there in Buffalo, you know, in East Park. Mm -hmm. I'm putting in a photo from when I, that, that photo is 26 years old. Holy shit, I just want to. I want Stacey to like me more. She's very descending, so I don't, don't channel anything. You know what they call, what, what was the nickname I had? What famous person did I get called at that point? Dickhead. <laughs> yeah, dickhead. <laughs> no, I get called Dickhead now. No. <laughs> Mark, 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 yes. I got some, I got some weird pictures on my desktop right now. I was going through some bullshit. Please, don't channel. Please, don't channel. If it wouldn't be too intrusive, what's the name of your gerbil? The lead gerbil. <laughs> tell me, you tell me first, dude. Who well, is in charge? Come on. <laughs> I mean, you have all people fathers from kids, but you're a, you're a Trump supporter. I mean, you couldn't be anything else. Or a Trump voter, anything. You don't have to be a supporter. You don't have to be a Trump supporter, man. You don't have to, like, you know, whatever. I'm the opposite of them. I've been fighting. You should be a Trump voter, because they're going to, if you put otherwise, they're going to take your daughter's wealth away, man. They're going to make it a lot harder for them. I don't know. You have a wife, man. I don't know why you don't see that. I don't trust your vision at all. Yeah. You gotta go. You gotta take care of You drive, like, 1972 Ford Taurus or something. Did you have uh, you see my missing toe? I'm going to take that old car of yours and that old rust bucket and uh, take a drive around I don't think you got it. Just point that thing, point that thing out west, or right? you can go to places like, you know, Philly, and St. Louis. You guys, you guys, workstations look the same in, in Kentucky? Or, yeah. Take a visit, man. Come, come eastward, westward to LA. Take a look at all your, your socialist, uh, liberal utopias LA and Frisco and Portland and Seattle. Take a look at your country. And that's, that's the world you and Hillary are leaving for your daughters. All right? And you're too stupid to see it. I would bet, my, I would bet, like, my entire family tree, right? The whole branch from me. All the way back to whenever it diverged from the one you're on, like I would bet all of that that what you're saying is ridiculous. I hope like everything that connects to me in all of human history. Like, if, I'm, if I'm not brighter than you, I'm a dead man. I could have fucking went to the zoo and got the same reaction from you know dumb bully chimp. Mm. I wonder if, if a chimp will ever. <laughs> <laughs> I remember he's not insulting you. He's destroying you. Yeah. You guys live in a tiny bubble. You don't see reason you're rational, man. Like I said you're weird. I don't know if your brain's missing or something. I can't. I can't. Yeah, the ra I, I had my racist cyst taken I out. I just, I'm not racist to get the racist taken out. I don't know why you don't think like we do. I think like yes, man. Maybe I mean, we do something, something happen. If we did some therapy to a certain degree, but I mean, you can help out. You gotta help yourself now. You sound too therapist off to be of any help mentally whatsoever. You're too therapist quick. Therapist off because there's like you don't see, don't see any sense of what's going on. I mean, you just. What the hell were you talking about before I was here? Nothing, man. Forget it. I'm sorry, so what were you talking about before I got here? Was it like, is it like awesome 18 hours a day now? We talk about whatever's going on at the time. The news. SOS, 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 SOS. We're talking about, you know, read the Georgia Ford, break Bart, you know, you go through the news, gateway, right? All that. Like the ladies and the blacks and the Jews are gonna steal all the money that we stole from them back. Oh my god, look out! Where do you get your news? 
The only thing I actually will look at is usually the times. We're talking New York Times. No, I'm talking about the Quebecsis Times. Now their queer, their queer uh, prime minister up there has got caught impersonating a Negro three different times. At least, <laughs> at least three. Uh, well, why would not he dressed up like the, uh, with the Arabian Nights? So he's dressed as an Arab too. Yeah, and brown and black. Brown and black. I was going to say, I would like to expand on his standards.